Welcome everyone. Thanks for making yourself available uh, uh, for this particular session. Uh, for some of you, it could be later in the evening. Some of you, based on your time zone, it could be like say uh, midnight, or some of you maybe you are halfway through your day, through your job. Uh, thanks a lot. I would like to welcome you all uh, for this session on behalf of the entire Akron family. As part of today's session, uh, myself. Uh, let me first introduce myself. Myself, uh, Vivek Venkatraman. I go by Vivek. I'm here the director at Akron responsible for business development. I have a background uh, predominantly in the space of uh, media automation and uh, enterprise architecture integration uh, for more than 11 plus years. And uh, within Akron, I'm primarily responsible for business development. I'll be the presenter for today's call. Along with me, I have another panelist, my colleague Raj, who will be supporting here as part of the entire uh, session and will be available uh, to respond to any of the Q&A or facilitate the session as well. Uh, let me allow my colleague to introduce himself. Raj, over to you. Hey, thanks Vivek. Hello everyone. Uh, so my name is Raj Kumaran. You can call me Raj. So I oversee all the pre-sales activity out there in Akiron and I have somewhere around eight plus years of experience and I also come with a strong technical background. So I also have expertise on the uh, domain of media and entertainment, especially uh, almost six plus years of domain knowledge in this particular area. So uh, that's a quick intro about myself. Uh, yeah, over to you. Today. Thanks much. Uh, as part of uh, the next uh, uh, 30 to 45 minutes, uh, uh, as we walk through some of our interesting customer use cases and everything, if you uh, if you if you have any specific question where you would like to interrupt, feel free to raise your hand. The Q and A panel is open, where you can always post your questions, uh, where we will respond. There is also a dedicated Q and A at the end of the session, where we will also answer uh, all your questions if there is anything that we missed. So, with wasting no more minutes, let let us quickly get into the session. So, uh, what is exactly the session for, and uh, what are the goals for the session? Uh, if you are in this uh, call uh, looking for, okay, you have already pur pur purchased uh, open text media management, or you are planning to uh, leverage uh, or procure open text media management, you are in the right place. Because this call is going to tell how you can effectively use or leverage OTMM and increase your ROI with the, with the help of some of our innovations and solution extensions that we offer. Or if you are a customer, let's say you are using any of these enterprise platforms, maybe you are having Salesforce, SAP, you are using for content automation, Chili Publish, or a video platform like Brightco, and you are looking to say, uh, uh, from an enterprise perspective, you are looking to integrate your DAM, uh, you are in the right space for it. The last place is if you're looking for standard, uh, what is the best way to implement uh, your digital asset management? We'll walk you through some of our customer journey and also the learnings through the fund. So if any of uh, this uh, is something that you're looking for, you are in the right space and we'll be uh, uh, primarily talking about all of these scenarios as part of the session. So as part of the agenda, we'll first talk about uh, some of our uh, customer experience. Here, the customer experience is in the context of what is their experience uh, while leveraging the solution that we offer. We'll also talk about how our solution evolved and how we solved uh, the, uh, the supply chain automation through our experience. And uh, I'll give you a quick overview of our solutions along with our enterprise connector, share some of the best practices which we go through as part of the enterprise implementation. And then finally, we will have the Q&A session for the same. So what customers say about us, right? Uh, to, to first uh, quickly start with, right? Uh, Obviously, we, we are in this space for more than 12 plus years and have implemented uh, uh, different innovations all the way from mid-level to big enterprises. We have customers who have been in, using our solutions like 15 plus users all the way to 1,500 to 2,000 users actively. Uh, these are some of the things which, are, which our customers have got to say about us. What are the interesting thing? We always believed in automation. We always believed uh, in terms of having a solution which provides a seamless collaboration. Uh, obviously, I, I believe everyone is, things are getting better. I hope you are all staying safe in the place where you are now. One of the interesting feedback which, uh, which we received uh, as part of early this year uh, from one of the senior digital asset manager is this, how 
our solution, the project management, predominantly helped uh, during pandemic, uh, where everything was made to remote. But uh, since this solution was being already leveraged by this customer for more than two plus years, uh, everything was seamless. And in fact, uh, the number of projects that that they delivered actually uh, ex exponentially started increasing. Couple of other things now, let's say you are a designer in this call and you're looking forward, generally as part of the creative process, the challenges designers go through is a little bit different. Different personas involved go through different challenges. Let's say if you are a project manager, you are looking for visibility. If you are a designer, you're looking for uh, effective ways to get the requirement and communicate and, and, and work on the same. If you are a reviewer, you are once again looking for a scenario where uh, you can effectively collaborate and there is a faster feedback loop. So all these things is primarily is what uh, our solution addresses through the entire uh, supply chain process. I and mean, these are some of the testimonials which our customers from different uh, backgrounds have got to say. To give you a few stats, <coughs> this is one of the stats from one of existing customers uh, during the pandemic. Uh, as of uh, the first two quarters, these are the, num the volume of projects they completed, the number of tasks that get executed within the organization, and number of active users at any point of time in the system. As you see here, uh, in terms of the system, so every day there are close to 11 projects getting created, more than 40 plus approvals happening, and, and there are tasks getting completed rapid place, and more important, uh, the number of assets that get generated is 50 plus, which are going through the complete digital uh, uh, creative process that has been defined. The, the rate at which the projects are being executed and being delivered has, uh, has tremendously been increased thanks to the automation, collaboration, and some of the key aspects in terms of uh, dynamism that we bring where you can configure and launch your multiple workflows. And I'll quickly walk you through on the same. Now, I hope this gives you a fair idea in terms of who we are and what we offer. So with that, uh, in a nutshell, we are open text uh, solution extension partners and implementation partners, predominantly helping our digital experience customers through their implementation of DAM and other digital experience products. We, we have multiple extensions around the digital experience where we have connectors to Salesforce, Brightco, and Chili Publish. As part of, there are other areas which we are also involved. We are also partners with different cloud vendors. We, are, we also have a big implementation team who are specialized in user experience and microservices orchestration. But in today's call, I'm going to talk specifically about how our solutions address specifically the digital experience platform and how we help in increasing productivity by automating your media supply chain. So, so what is about why uh, uh, this specific area and why this is so important, right? Uh, we started this journey early 2013, but now digital media is everywhere. Wherever you look in the modern world, media is all around, be it from street science to product packing to video games, TV and internet. With expectations on the media department so high, uh, depending upon which organizations you are, but, but budgets are always a challenge, right? So always a question that, that we encountered when we were meeting our uh, DAM customers is, how do you produce great quality assets, which is brand and legally compliant, it on time and on budget? So that's the trigger point uh, as we work through this. So when we, when, when we started implementing uh, different solutions to different customers, we saw a pattern what specifically this industry faced. And that's how our solution evolved. There are four key challenges which we encountered, which seems to be consistent across different places with its own variance. So the first, what we can see is uh, inefficient and costly production processes. So the overall ineffectiveness is primarily down to lack of basic processes. Uh, we, we were surprised and sometimes even shocked uh, big enterprises, which, which produce larger contents, uh, lack a seamless automation and basic work configurations in terms of workflow management, where it became cumbersome because there were a lot of things which were manual. And the prime challenge is the project managers 
are unable to stay on top of the daily activities due to lack of uh, visibility and unfortunately because of lack of prioritization which was not available the designers and other product owners are unsure of the priorities and the overall timeline so everyone everyone was working really hard but 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 everyone was also spending time on areas which they need not spend or they are spending time looking for information which is scattered everywhere and there is significant amount of time that is being spent which as at the end of the day resulted in lack of productivity uh, the effort was always there but that that's not translate to the productivity what the organization expected the second challenge is that of technology uh, i think uh, this is while technology can always be a great time saver uh, having too many technologies or too many disconnected tools can also be a great time waster people sometimes do not know to which systems they really have to look for what information that it's there because each system is unique and they do their job and they have been maybe they are there for a longer time or maybe uh, they they do it specifically and that's the preferred choice of tool but you don't want your users to jump into different systems and we have seen live scenarios in one of the the engagement where one of the customers where the logins get lost or the setup is always incorrect and uh, the user onboarding process at any point in time used to take close to 2 to 3 days to make sure the users are provisioned across all the system and and where it after going through all this pain the 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 other challenge the users would also face is maybe when they jump from one system to other system they just don't know how to use the tool because each requires a different set of training a different set of guidance and there is no unified experience like an enterprise mashup for them to access everything in one place so this was what the second challenge one is having disconnected tools the third scenario is the problem of collaboration and this is where i would like to go back to the point of uh, the uh, the comment which which one of a customer made how our solution helped during the pandemic uh, we are in in a modern life in a modern era and everything and people are remotely working uh, at at any point in time you still have because you have lot of collaborations where you have agencies you have in house designers and and you also sometimes may end up with your own company colleagues working across continents because it's global it is it is pretty difficult for everyone to stay in touch and simple communications get lost i have literally seen people even attaching emails taking snapshots of of different channels and then attaching it as part of their engagements and 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 communications gets lost and when when asked about okay hey, why this was happening why this decision was made people used to scramble emails look for forwards and everything and the collaboration wasn't as effective in my opinion collaboration is effective if it happens in the place where it has to happen you are discussing about a project you are working on something the collaboration has to be within that space so that it becomes much more effective the last key problem that we saw is finally the issue of compliance uh while in many organization this might just mean uh, the assets should just comply with brand standards uh in in some of the industries which we work specifically on pharma and life sciences there are strict legal requirements that has to be met and failure of which will result in costly costly fines so these are the four broader areas of problems which we which we specifically encountered and we thought and we were implementing in different places and what and that's when what if we have a solution which solves this across in a more robust and pragmatic way so what's the solution to this right uh, international research from idc found this was early 2018 where through well managed digital media production organizations can increase their productivity on average by 34% in fact in best cases it it even topped over 40% so if you are a user of open text media manager how can you achieve this that's where we come in right uh, introducing our solution the acron media project management the media project management from acron is the only project management solution on top of open text media management that provides not just seamless integration but also an effective way of managing all your creative workflow process wherein you increase the efficiency of your project teams 
providing the right information at the right time, all directly from within media management. There is no duplication of assets. There is no um, uh, double admin configurations that you're managing. And you're also integrating with different enterprise tools. So from the start, the, create, the creation of process from the ideation all the way to downstream publishing, everything is managed in a single tool. It increases the efficiency of the creative teams and reduces all the rework because we repurpose those assets. There is easy way of relationship management and tagging, which ensures uh, the right informations are available at the right time. So to give you an idea of a, a typical workflow, the system is a point solution, but underneath the hood, you also get a platform where you are not just restricted by the solution, but you also have a platform which you can extend to different needs. Right. So MPM provides project managers with all the tools they need to set up, track and oversee projects. So if you are a project manager, you are, you are looking to manage your resources, manage your projects via GANs, calendars, all those capabilities are available. The second key person is, let's say you belong to the creative team. Maybe you are a designer, you are a director or you are you are you are creative, uh, creative director responsible for all the creative works that comes in. It provides you all the necessary tools for you to determine what is your priority, what is the important requirement and what exactly needs to be done so that you, you always, you know what's coming and, and you can always prioritize and deliver the same as needed. The next, let's say you are a business owner and you wanna get key insights about what's really happening in terms of review approvals and other areas, the tool provides them as well. So it's a complete holistic 360 degree solution where it not it helps you to create, plan, review everything in, in a cycle where you can keep repeating your processes and all the way the assets are managed within the open text media management and you can publish it downstream as well as archive it based on your principles. So the different capabilities of the solution includes one is obviously your centralized project management. Project management involves where you can define projects, you can define campaigns, you can link projects to campaigns, you can associate multiple campaigns, you can track your budgets, you can manage the same. You also want to manage relationships between the projects, parent, child, all those relationships are completely supported. And within that, we also have a robust tasks and deliverable management, which can be, which, which helps you to uh, track what are the creative assets that are getting created. And last but not the least, to share a couple of more important insights, uh, the system also supports a powerful online proofing where, where you are not just making collaboration via text on top of your tasks and project, which we support via our in-system notification, but, but you and, and our own in-house uh, collaboration model, which we built, but we also have powerful annotation tools integrated where you can annotate, you can perform operations on top of your assets, be it uh, text, images, or video files. We support all these formats. Last but not the least, you also get a powerful reporting and analytics engine where there are uh, close to eight out of the box reports available, which gives you the efficiency of your campaigns, projects, resource availability, and more. So what are the benefits, right, as part of the solution? The first thing uh, to start with, one, it increases the productivity. As you rightly said, uh, now the, you would have seen it, the number of projects that gets delivered is, 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 is quite exponential once you start adapting to the system because everything is available in one place and, and you, have, you have access to information which you can achieve it easily without jumping to different places, which in turn really helps in terms of reducing the time to produce, review, and finally publish the asset. Next, it's the dam is a central repository. So through this process, you deliver a consistent and a compliant media which is completely uh, regulated and managed within your dam. And if you're an existing dam customer, uh, all your existing, be it your rights management, be it your metadata and other policies and everything are completely respected. And, you, and we are leveraging the administration policies which are already defined and you need not create an, another one as part of a solution. Next, there is no disparate silos. There, is, there, is, there are email notifications and everything, but as, as I told you, from the project planning to analytics, there is workflow, there is project, 
there is online proofing, there is collaboration, but everything is inside one web app. You are not jumping between three different places to see, okay, where is my asset? What is the metadata around it? Where can I search? Where is my workflow? How can I go and define a workflow? Where is my online proofing tool? What can I do? Okay, now I want to talk to someone. How can I find that person and talk? You are not jumping in different places and all these things are happening in one place within our robust solution. The next is a team collaboration where, where it's, it's, you, can, you can collaborate at different levels, be it tasks, be it projects, or be it uh, at the deliverable level. So that's the overall solution and what we really offer. And, uh, and if you'd like to know more, we also have our YouTube channel where you can quickly watch through the recordings and we'll be more than happy to provide a detailed demonstration specific to different industry case studies where uh, this solution is being leveraged. With that, the next key thing which I'd like to quickly talk is about our enterprise connectors. So there are, with big enterprises, there are obviously a lot of leading applications and, and, and maybe right, obviously if you are here, you would be using a different set of tools which are already there as part of your legacy or, uh, or you, you have just started on it. So we have connectors to all these, to all these uh, enterprise tools, what you see here. We have a connector to, to Salesforce, Salesforce Sales Cloud and Service Cloud, where you can, uh, the, from the dam, the assets are available, where as part of your opportunities or cases or as part of your customer communication, you leverage the approved assets which are in the dam from the experience of Salesforce. So a Salesforce user need not come inside the dam and manage it, right? But yet it is a very seamless integration. So from within Salesforce, you, you need not worry about storage in Salesforce. You can leverage the dam to completely manage all your uh, assets that you use for communication to, throughout the CRM life cycle. Or if you are a Salesforce marketing cloud user, we also have a connector to that where we can, you can leverage the assets from the dam for all your email, social channel, and other uh, related marketing efforts for which you are primarily leveraging the Salesforce marketing cloud platform. And then let's say you, you, are, you are an SAP customer and, and, you, uh, and obviously your project and staffing and briefing and, and all the in initial information or the kickoff from material and order processing starts from SAP. We also have an integration to the dam and our solution where your order creation can, can kickstart from SAP and, and, and those information are smartly being managed uh, through our solution. And, and within your SAP, after the project gets completed or during the life cycle, you can have visibility to what's happening as part of the project and, and the assets once are finally available is also accessible within your SAP platform to find out for those particular orders, what are the final assets that got generated. The next couple of things is, let's say if you are uh, uh, an organization who is use, heavily using video and are planning or, uh, to leverage Brightco or already leveraging Brightco. So uh, within the dam, you have multiple options where you can use the out of the box player, which the open text media management provides. And we also integrate with Brightco where we also sh show, uh, have the option to configure multiple Brightco players so that you can pick the player of your choice and also find the analytics, how those videos have been leveraged in different platforms, which has been published downstream via Brightco. And all these things are efficiently rights managed, right? Which you can see on right hand side, some of the key benefits. So let's say if, if any of these assets have been expired, there's an expiration workflow, or there is a digital rights, which is associated with it, or there's a version that gets updated. So to all these integration, integrations, the, the asset gets automatically updated or removed based on the respective action that needs to be taken. So that is where the integration plays a key role. So you are, you are always avoiding duplication. You are always within your boundaries of rights and you save time because you are, you are using uh, the right piece of content at, at the right time. And we also have uh, uh, integrated with Chili Publish, which is a uh, digital uh, content creation platform print and digital as well, where you can leverage the dam assets to quickly create assets. Maybe a less knowledgeable worker can start leveraging it and you use your approved icons and everything to manage the same. So these are some of our uh, connectors to some of the leading enterprise, uh, enterprise solutions that exist in the market. And if you're looking for any of these, uh, we are more than happy to support you.
So I think now that we have seen a couple of uh, so far in terms of what we offer on top of the digital experience platform and what are the connectors that we have. Uh, one is technology, but with our experience at the end of the day, you need to have best practice to ensure that uh, you are uh, delivering the right value to the customer and you also understand the customer, the experience the customer has to go through and also the emotion behind it. So we work, so one of the critical thing that, that we always recommend is, it's pretty important how you partner with the business. So our recommendation through the DAM practice is, uh, DAM in my opinion is a concept. It, it, it all lies on in terms of how you want to organize your business and, and it's very important to partner with the business from day one to understand the business goals, to understand what is the ROI or what is the uh, return they are looking for or the business benefits. And, and these, what you see, sit with them, do a whiteboarding, define the workflows, make them part of the process. That's very important to make sure that the journey is successful and there's a buy-in from both sides. Next, create a tailored user experience, but before getting experience, People are more visual, specifically creative industries. Uh, you know it more than uh, uh, myself, where it, it's at the end of the day, you are creating creative content and you also want your application to be as intuitive as possible. So create wireframes uh, before going to full-blown implementation as part of a discovery workshop. You not only just implement the workflows uh, or prototype it, you also do a prototype of the user experience to, to give a feel of how the application would look like once everything is there. So this really helps us to streamline a lot of things and, and, and avoid a lot of change requests down the path to, so that most of the details are captured earlier. And it's a kind of a fail fast approach so that uh, if there is any corrections, you are, we find it upfront. So some of the key messages are partner with the business throughout, identify your champions uh, who will be really there to help you. How frequent release cycles? I think that's one of the key lessons. So our release cycle, when we kickstart a project, it's typically like say in 12 weeks, we like to push for a release. Yeah, there are scenarios where with big enterprises due to their release cycles, things do change, but how frequent release cycles so that it's, it's very important to start the user adoption, but, but you can also plan a phased based adoption so that, uh, so that it, it can be managed smartly where you receive, you have a small pilot group, you test it, you take the feedback, you implement, but the most important thing, once an application goes live, it's pretty important that you keep providing features after feature. It can be small or big uh, to make sure that business users are engaged and they are always getting an experience and one degree shift every two weeks where uh, uh, there's, there's a small feature which they requested is available. And that emotion or that experience increases user adoption. So that's one of the things that, that we primarily focus on. And last but not the least, as part of the project plan, the timeline and milestone, in my opinion, should be derived from the business goals and not the reverse in terms of, okay, what's the estimate and what's, what's technically how we move forward. So this really helps to ensure that uh, the features and other details are prioritized in, in a smart way. Uh, user adoption and feedback cycle, which I already mentioned. Last but not least, be transparent and, and make sure that your customer is completely on board in terms of exactly what's happening and that not just improves trust, it also involves participation. And at the end of the day, we are all partners to make sure that both of us are successful in this journey. So with this, I come to my end of my presentation. So if you're looking for anything specifically around uh, open text media management and other related integration, we are more than happy to support you. With this, uh, I open the floor uh, for some questions if there is any. Raj, is there anything? Uh, at this moment, I do not see any open questions, uh, but we, uh, feel free to uh, post any questions if you have something. All right then. So uh, thanks for your time. And uh, 
will be around but just in case if you like to know more about our solutions or products you can visit us on our website and this is our specific my specific contact details kindly reach out in case if you like to know more about us we'll be more than happy to deep dive with you and 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 see how best we can partner with you to to help and understand and support you in your business initiative thanks a lot for your time thanks for making yourself to the session have a nice day and nice evening thank you great thanks everyone Thanks for attending. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.